pretty incredible, but Wright State University has been ranked number one in the nation for their Management Information Systems Program for Military Veterans. Joining me this morning to talk all about this amazing achievement is Seth Gordon, the leader of the Veteran and Military Center at Wright State. Now, this is a program that you um, personally had your hands in. We were just talking in the break. Yes, that's right. It's something that you started or created six years ago. Yeah, the student veterans at Wright State wanted more. They went to the president. They carried 3,000 signatures, and they put in place the money to hire a director and that director happened to be me. It's pretty incredible you have taken this program from the very beginning to now being nationally ranked but what exactly is the MIS program? So the MIS program, the Bachelor's of Science and Business in MIS is where management and business and technical expertise all come together um, and I think that's why it speaks to veterans mm -hmm. um, and people with a military background because it's really about bringing their theory and practice into the same place. So the program talks a lot about, you know, giving them practical, practical experience. The professors have a practical background, but they also have a good theoretical background. So they're able to move them back and forth between how does it work? All right, what do you need to learn to do more to get this better? And then how do you do it? And so they, they go back and forth and that speaks to what they learn in the military, right? Yes. Um, and they're sort of, their leadership skills and the leadership training that's sort of across all branches makes former military more exceptional because they get that training at a much earlier age before they earn a bachelor's degree and most of us in the civilian workforce it's the opposite we need we need the bachelor's degree to get to do what they get to do mm -hmm. right out of the gate and so they come out they're trying to find a job and they don't have that civilian marker which is a bachelor's degree but they have a lot more training and so this program brings them in it gets to help them apply that training and realize how exceptional that is compared to the civilian peers. So when they get out, what's likely happening is they have a leap, right? They're not, right. They're not 22, they're usually, the average age of our student veteran at Wright State is about 30. Mm -hmm. um, and so they come out, they have, now they have the civilian training and the civilian markers and they can go back and build on their military experience, which always includes leadership training. And so that gives them an edge. And that's why I think it's a successful program and why they're being successful. That's the interesting thing about this ranking is it's looking at the outcomes and how much, how and much how they're... And how much success they're, or how much success not only you guys are seeing, but right. how much their success they're seeing That's as well. right. That's exactly right. That's probably right. exactly why it has been ranked nationally uh, number one. Um, vets can join pretty easily though. It's open to everybody, correct? Right. I mean, you know, they have to come in and they apply to the program and they apply to Wright State and once they get in and if they're using a GI bill to come and see us, it's, I mean, the process is pretty simple. Perfect. You know? All right, well, if anybody is interested, um, Wright State does offer a lot of services and resources for military and veterans as well. You can find those by going to wright.edu slash veteran and military center. Seth, thank you so much. This is such an amazing program. Um, I think we're going to have to feature somebody, though. I think, we're, I think that's going to be my next step. I'm going to talk to my boss I'm about happy it this to find morning. Somebody I would love to do it. All right, 728 is our time right now. There's